Welcome to a new F9 video where I want to show you the latest updates on the car. So I took the F9 seats and the rear bench out and it's obviously pretty dirty after 70 years it's also a little bit broken if you see this here for example and i'm going to clean this now uh, first with a hoover then with some seat cleaner and then let's see how it looks like in the end i want to have a red interior so i will create some kind of cover for this what's really cool what i wanted to show you is if you see the structure underneath there are proper springs underneath, it's a proper wooden frame and you can even see the skin of the tree here underneath. So really cool, really nice old piece and well intact. I mean the condition is not perfect but I can make it nice again and it works and it's really nice to see down here. So let's clean this up. So a lot has happened in the meantime. Um, last time I was making the trunk pretty inside. Now you can see the trunk is actually black. Right now everything is just very dusty because I was rubbing down the surface of the whole car in order to prepare it for painting everything. And um, the tailgate was my first try. So I wanted to see how that works. I'm doing this um, only with a brush and with a roller. So putting the paint on the component with a brush and then doing the, the pattern, and you can see the pattern here um, with a roller, and that works pretty well. That is only the first layer, so you can still see some things through here. So I'm going to use a couple of layers for that, but I'm very happy with the result so far. Looks very nice. It's also not matte black. It's also not shiny black. It's uh, called Seidenmatt, which is something in between which I think fits very well and will look great with some chrome. And you can see I removed the bumper. I was um, yeah, improving this area a little bit. Uh, maybe you remember from the last videos that there was a big dent, so I could hammer this out uh, by quite a bit. Um, let's have a look inside. So inside the car is black now. Also a bit dusty from all the rubbing down, but um, this is the uh, rust protection paint, so it's reacting with the rust underneath and creates a stable connection with it, so it doesn't rust any further. Like we said before, the metal sheets here are very thick, so that's okay. Um, some of the issues we have here are holes at the window frame, so I will need to fix that. And Let's have a look at the car from the front and just look at how nice this car looks like from the front. If you remove the bumper, um, if you remove the lights and if you remove the chrome. So just imagine this car in black and then possibly 100 millimeter lower. It's going to be a really nice car. So I was rubbing down all these problems here and I will... Um, cover these surfaces with some protection layers and after that I will paint the car black and that is the next big step for this car. I want to get this done within the next couple of days so there should be an update uh, pretty soon and I also went to one specialized F9 dealer so specialized in F9 parts so for example, these are the trafficators of this car, the original ones, but um, one was broken and the other one I didn't try yet, but it's, it's also not in good condition. So I could get some factory new ones, basically, or at least one is factory new and the other one is in very good used condition. So we have that. Um, another thing is that 
problems are tires on this. So if you want to have a tire for this, uh, for these rims, you need the so-called Heidenau uh, tires. So I think it's the only manufacturer left. One tire is um, 150 euro. Um, I would need four new ones, of course, because they're super old, uh, super bad condition. You can see all the, all the little cracks in here and stuff. And there's a tube inside. The tube is also another 50 euro. So that sums up to 800 euro only for tubes and tires all around the car, uh, which is pretty expensive for such a project. And at the same time, I would still have to refurbish these rims. So what I did instead was I bought some new wheels for this car. So these are the new wheels that I could get for the car. Of course, four of them. Um, the rims have been uh, sandblasted and painted, so they look really nice. Um, I want black rims, but I can change that very easily now. Um, the tires, the tubes are good, so that is a good option to drive the car. And then another thing I wanted to show you is the logo of the car. Because originally the logo was this one here. And I don't like this EFA logo, I want to have an old DKW Auto, uh, Auto Union logo. And you can see that there are these two fixings at the back and there's a lot of this strange grease here. So I created my own logo for this. So the job was to create a logo that fits inside this chrome circle here and has a fixing at the top and bottom. And the original logo from West Germany looks like this. So this is from the West German DKW company. That's an original logo, um, which would fit here, but um, yeah, it's a little bit too big. Um, also the fixings are somewhere else. And I wanted to create my own thing. So I might use this at the front. Let's see. I already had it at the front before, but um, yeah, just to see how it looks like. But I wanted to create my own logo. So I was thinking I need to design something that um, is a DKW logo, but still includes the four rings. And what I came up with is this. So that is a 3D printed logo that I just sprayed with Chrome spray. And uh, it has the fixings exactly here. So it fits perfectly. We can have this one here. And I think with this black paint, and with the chrome, that will look great. I could even paint this inner side here um, green so that it looks like a real DKW, uh, DKW logo. But the cool thing is I can just make it hot and then bend it. As you can see, it's, it's slightly bent, so it fits perfectly that shape. And uh, yeah, I can make changes very quickly to this. I can quickly produce this within two hours, I think. So that's great. I might do some other logos for the car as well. Maybe I will also use it at the front. And this is, yeah, another nice um, little feature for the car. So I removed the bumper and you can see these are the license plate lights. So in the license plate there, in here, shining at the license plate on both sides. I just wanted to show you how this looks like. So the cable is coming from inside. You get the ground through the body and uh, there's a cap on top and this is what the body itself looks like super old super rusty but original and this still worked so really nice and i'm gonna make it pretty now okay so i'm right before painting the car so i just want to show you the state of the car before i start painting um, I was closing the holes of the previous rear lights. Um, I was already painting the tailgate so uh, as a first test. So I'm going to do the rest of the car like this as well. Then I used some this anti-rust paint on the worst parts. I could also um, make this side here a bit prettier. So right now you can see the still the patches through. I was just spraying this with um, black paint so that you can see the structure but it's nice and round again um, i taped all the windows around the car and uh, here that was one of the tricky areas so we have a lot of rust in here and i was rubbing the rust down as good as possible and then i was filling it um, with some 
honey-like material so that goes inside the holes and closes them. So that should be fine now. And also at the front I already um, painted the grill, um, also painted um, the inside of the headlights with this anti-rust paint because here it was very rusty inside if you remember and um, I also drilled a hole inside here again. So if there is um, water again standing inside here it can just um, drop out. So that is should be fine as well. So I rubbed the whole body down. Um, I was fixing a lot of the dents so either I could uh, hammer them out or I was filling them and rubbing over it so that should all be nice now. So let's get this car painted. So the first layer of black is on the car now. I will add a couple of more layers so it's really deep black. And I hope you liked this episode and see you at the next video.